Hello everyone, and this time I'm going to be going over a really silly crack theory that I've had about Digimon since I first saw Adventure as a child. And that is that the player character from the first Digimon World game, which we know as Hero or Mameo or Analog Youth or Analog Boy, so this child became Genai, slash Genai, depending on what version of the dub you watch. So while, yes, I can hear you from here, you are probably saying, hey, that's absurd. The video games typically do not exist in the same universe as the anime. They're completely separated by their own continuity and they don't really overlap. However, and this is what I say to that, is that there are several characters that have been able to wander between these universes, such as we have various characters in the story and world games appearing in other Digimon video games, and of course, more notably, Ryo starting off in the adventure continuity and then crossing over to the Tamers universe in the Wonderswan games. So not only has he been in video games, he's crossed over into a different anime season that he started in. He was also in the crossover with V-Tamer, as many of the adventure Tamers and Frontier protagonists were. So he counted as the Tamers part of that crossover. So it is possible. So what if Hiro, or Mameo, depending on how you want to call him, in a similar way to Ryo, was able to transcend time, space, and even the multiverse, or I don't know, the, is there a Digimon cinematic universe or just a Digimon universe? I don't know. But in any way, what if he was able to transcend these universes and end up in the adventure continuity somehow. So what exactly am I basing this really wild, crazy assumption on, or at least how I how did I as a very small me? So as a kid, I noticed the Mameo and Jedi both wear dog tags. And that was the connection that my little brain made. While I also had a theory that these dog tags that Jedi wore were the tags and crests or whatever equivalent they had, of the original, original Chosen Children that we find out about later in the first season. But we never got really much from Try about that. We just knew that they existed and who they were, what their Digimons were, what happened to them. But we didn't actually know if they had tags and crest equivalents. So we can more or less rule that part of the theory out. So besides the dog tag wearing... We also have the fact that we meet Jedi and, Ma and Mameo slash Hero, both on File Island. And that was enough for little, little kid me to say, ah, dog, dog tag, same place. There we go. Myth busted. It's all solved. Mameo and Jedi are the same person. But why does Jedi often say that he's not human nor Digimon? He kind of like always has that up in the air. And this is in various dubs as far as I can recall. It's in the English one and the Japanese one. And he kind of refuses to ever elaborate on what that means. Now, my theory is that per perhaps we have Mayo merging with Gigimon from the Digimon World Games, and that explains also the old age. And don't get me even started on the dark spore that Piedmon inserted into his back at one point. I think a CD drama hand waved it away and says, oh yes, that's nothing, but I'm still very curious about it because it does look like the dark spore that Ken gets put in his neck. And that's... And that's what I think. There's something suspicious and weird going on. Maybe that was older Mameo and then he merged with Jujimon or something going on there. There's also the possibility that maybe Mugendramon in Digimon World is somehow related to the Mugendramon who fused with Chimeramon to be Millenniumon in the Wonderswan games, but who knows. However, I still can't explain Evil Jedi from Digimon Adventure Tried. That one's still an absolute mystery. Why did he lick Sora? That was really weird. I I don't know. I don't ha I don't have any answers there. Um he wasn't Jedi, I guess. Maybe he was Eucalyptus, one of the many Jedi clones. And I also can't explain the clones in this theory. It's it, the old man is Mameo. That that's that's all that kid me knew. That's all it put together. So basically that's it. That's my theory. What do you think? Do you have any similar crack theories about anything about Digimon? I'd love to hear them, so let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if you like my theory, or even if you think I'm absolutely crazy, like this video. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already, because 
According to my analytics, not many people are subscribed who are viewing the videos. So I'm going to stop doing the finger guns now because it's weird. But anyway, so subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I have like a thousand other videos for you to watch. Even if you didn't like this one, maybe there's something that'll tickle your fancy. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. And of course, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.